Why, hello everybody, my name is Tretex, and welcome back to Terminator Dark Fate Defiance. Now, I've just, I thought I'd put this on camera because this is the sheer amount of vehicles we just rescued from last mission. Look how many there are. This is going to take me ages to sort through, figure out what to do for our next mission. So, uh, what we do, we carry on the game as soon as possible. Just be aware that I will have to do a lot of maintenance. So, feel free to look at the chapters of the video. It will, if you want to skip forward to the actual combat mission starts, there'll be a chapter for it. If you want to watch all this gargantuan amount of units being modified and sold off and whatnot, feel free to carry on watching now. So, I think everybody is ready. I have gathered as much as I can. I must admit, there are some stuff, there is some stuff left behind. Um, especially over here, there was some, like, heavy emplacements, but I just can't pick them up. Unfortunately, you can't pick up goods and put them in your vehicles for later on. You can only have one squad pick up one weapon. Even if you have a sniper, you can't pick up two separate guns in one mission. It's only one, so it's a bit limiting. Anyway, everybody, we're leaving. We got all our people out of the sector. Nice. Many deaths. Many, many deaths. Continue. Cartel all dealt with? The rebels are rounding up the last few commanders, but it's over for the cartel. Everything that was theirs belongs to the movement now, to use against Legion. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. So, what are you gonna do now? Plenty of work to be done here, fixing what's been done to these people. It'll take a while, but we'll get the cartel territories incorporated into the movement, and ready to help in the only war that really matters. Glad we we're here to help make that happen. We could do with some help to get ourselves back into the main morgue though. Take what you need from the supply warehouses. I'll make sure you get plenty of goodwill credits, too. Good luck with the rest of your mission, troublemaker. What now, sir? We're at camp. It's time to move on. You sure about that, sir? What do you mean? Sure you don't want to stay longer? Build some shacks, fix the water pumps, give out lollipops to kids? Got a point you want to make, Sergeant? Damn right I do, sir. The cartel was scum. But we're in this war to beat the wireheads, not help civilians wipe their own asses. We're founders, soldiers. We got a war to fight, we fight it. That's what we've been doing. This is all part of the same war. The cartel were Legion allies, now they're gone. The movement are our allies, and now we've made them stronger. You making alliances on behalf of Founder Command? Don't remember that being our orders, sir. I'm doing whatever it takes for us to win this war, Sergeant. <sighs> Consider yourself dismissed. Yes, sir. Gladly, sir. Oh, no, it's Baldur's Gate through and over again. People are going to leave me for helping too much. <laughs> it's like, why are you helping every single person you come across? <laughs> I have no choice. I can't help it. So, movement base in for... Oh, so we can go back here. Hopefully, it's restocked the shop or we might be in big trouble. Is there a shop here? There's no shop here. Then how do they expect me to get back to base? Well. That is unfortunate, everybody. It appears we've been bamboozled by the game itself. This should hopefully work. If there's no supplies, I'm going to be so Happy upset. now, Sergeant. We're on our way back to the main war. Not my place to say, sir. You give the orders, we carry them out. That's how we do it in the Founders. Mason, listen. If we're going to survive out here... You and I need to... Lieutenant, Sergeant Mason, uh, we got a problem. What's up, Corporal? All the radio frequencies are dead. Just nothing but white noise. An ambush? We're being jammed? No, it's coming from way behind us. Can't get a better fix on it than that, though. Still don't like this. Agreed. Send out extra scouts. If calm's down, make sure they all start within visual range of at least one other unit. Everyone, on full alert. On it. See? This is how it's supposed to work. Founders Fidelis, right? Yeah. Founders Fidelis, sir. Oh my god, please be surprised. Wow. You guys survived. Yeah. Give me fuel. You got a problem with that? You don't know what happened? Jess is going to be real surprised you made it back. You mean Commander Kid? She's here, not at Albuquerque? Wow, you guys are really out of the loop. Better get to HQ. I'll tell him you're coming. Lieutenant? Sergeant? God, you're alive. What did we miss? What's happened? Chihuahua City is gone. An overwhelming attack by the machines. <gasps> we lost all communication with them. Just white noise. And our only air recon that made it back said the whole city was destroyed, with only machines left in the ruins. We picked up the white noise, but I didn't realize. Oh my god. All those people there. We should have stayed. Try to defend them. And then you'd be dead too. No. Our recon managed to pick up some survivors. They said the city defenses were destroyed in the machines opening artillery bombardment. Then some kind of new combat units were airdropped in to wipe out the population. 
Legion knew exactly where to hit us, where to strike with the most force. Almost like someone had briefed them. <sighs> the cartel. Some of them must have survived. Then... Then they have been working with Legion all along. Legion left the cartel territories alone as long as the cartel was still useful to them. But as soon as the cartel had fallen... Legion moves in and eradicates anyone still there. God. Those people there. Luis. Lucia. They died as free human beings. Oh, they're just dead. Fighting the machines. And Damn. not as slaves of those cartel traitors. Trust me. It's what they would have wanted. Fancy talk about freedom might look good on headstones and monuments. But it ain't gonna win a war against the Wireheads. That's why we needed a unit like T-Force, Sergeant. Real soldiers. To show us how to fight. To show us our enemies can be defeated. You've done that. We can take it from here. On your own. What about what happened to the people at Chihuahua? They were taken by surprise. We'll reinforce New Tortuga, make it our new strong point here in the South. If the machines come, we'll be ready for them. Continue with your own mission, but you can use this town as a new supply point. Please so, have supplies. What are we gonna do? Those people in Chihuahua. We thought we saved them, and they still all died. <sighs> a lot of people have died. A lot more people are still gonna die before this war is gonna be over. But we keep going. What other choice we got? Founders Fidelis, Sergeant? That what you're saying? That's what I'm saying, sir. Get some rest. Then we'll get on to that integrator camp and figure out what to do next. Okay, the moment of truth. We can do it. We can do it. So we can get three days supply here. And we need to move for four days. Now... I'm not going to pretend otherwise. We're going to be deleting probably the majority of this army. So there is actually a few days ago a form post from the very nice developers which said estimated army size per mission. And I think I'm around 30,000k a day above it. So, <laughs> well, yeah, we've got to be careful because there is a real chance you can get stranded and then you just lose the game anyway. So we've got to make sure we have a, a good, efficient army, which is not just going to be absolutely murdered here. Actually, what I'll do, I mean, quickly go and find it. I've actually just found the thread, guys. If you want to quickly look, if you're playing the game yourself, this is what they recommend. But I imagine I'm pretty far behind everyone at this point. They've probably already finished the game. But <laughs> if you're playing for yourself for the first time, I guess trying to keep it within these target supply consumption radiuses because there is a real, real chance you can get stranded somewhere and you can't play the game anymore. So I think it's pretty damn important. So as I just say, we need to be around 65,000 and we're on 92,000. So I'm going to go and spend some time deleting stuff. We have loads of useless things. I got like loads of random stuff that has literally no purpose like these guys. So we're going to sell a lot of stuff, make a lot of points and we'll go from there. Okay, everybody, I think I'm happy with what I've done. I have gone around and changed quite a few things. I haven't got to the 65k they recommended, but I feel like we should be okay. A lot of the stuff I have is really good. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like I might lose some next mission, but let me quickly go over what I've done. I got rid of pretty much all the basic stuff like the supply wagons, all the basic trucks without any weapons, that kind of thing. I've also got rid of, uh, I think, two cartel tanks, so we have three in total. Well, I've kept all the founder stuff, so we have now we've got two Bradleys, we've got two Strikers. I actually sold the two APCs. They weren't very fast, they weren't very maneuverable. Instead, we now have three Humvees. Two have tow launchers, and the other one has the mortar on it, which is pretty handy. I also got rid of a few of the militia squads. We had loads that weren't doing anything. So I got two more that can use as uh, distraction forces, if we need to figure out if an enemy's alive or not in the area. There's also these guys that I'm seeing getting rid of, but then I saw they only cost £400. So I was kind of like, they're okay for now. Apart from that, I haven't changed too much. It did cost me all my supplies just to get to this point. I can't buy any more. We have fully reinforced everybody, but we have not done the supply so what i'll do i've bought a, i got a bit over when we go to the next mission when i deploy units so i can actually reinforce them ad hoc into the battlefield so if there's a supply wagon we ignore it if there isn't then we try and reinforce our like for instance our bradley as it joins into the fray there uh, upgrade wise people keep saying oh you've got to do survivalists i have done survivalists on i think every single guy i possibly can at this point uh pretty much all the movement units do not have survivalists so it's not actually a possibility unfortunately uh, so it's just to make do really, it's just to make do. I could in theory have bought more units to more drivers, but we just don't have enough to be honest. I have made sure that all the people driving are now drivers, instead of, before we had like random guys on it, we had like mercenaries, all that kind of thing, ready to go. 
Uh, also, something to point out to me that these guys actually can't get skills, which is a bit of a shame. I don't really realise that, but I guess until we find myself north, more founder infantry or rangers, I'm, it, they're, they're fine. They, we can keep them for now. As for the stuff we can hire, I, I don't think we should buy any more. There, we can get a second helicopter, for instance, but I feel like it's probably going to be a bit of a mistake in the long run. There is also some more units to sale, but I think I'm going to leave it as well. Hopefully after this mission we can maybe start getting ourselves some um, actual founder units. So I think I'd rather keep 5k in reserve in case there's something really cool after the next mission. Okay, let's get going. Hopefully this isn't too crazy. Hey, wait up. <sighs> what now? We gotta do everything for these movement civilians? We've been told to ask you to wait. There's a courier incoming with a message for you. A message? From who? Unknown. I'm just following the orders I get. Looking for Lieutenant Church. I have a message for him. I'm That's Church. Me. What's the message? Alex, I don't think you realize just what you've done for the movement and for the people we're fighting for here. I never doubted our people had the heart for the fight, but you and your force gave them a determination to win that I didn't think was possible. We've always fought against our enemies, but you've shown us how to properly resist. What happened in Chihuahua was terrible, but I know not even you could have stopped it. You want to blame someone? Blame the cartel and their legion ally, not yourself. We need to keep taking the fight to them and never forget what they're capable of. To keep on helping you, Movement Command is giving you extra goodwill points. I know you'll make them count. Good luck to you and T-Force. Jessica. Here's the package of the funds. You got a reply to the message? Just tell her thanks and to keep resisting. And where's the fuel? Anything I need to know about? The Movement had given us a nice farewell present. A batch of goodwill points. Sweet. Can't say we don't deserve it, after all we did for him. It's kind of annoying, so I skimped a lot on the units, because I don't think I have enough supplies, so I could have spent more. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Stop. For your own good, you should advance no further here. But we need to get to your central camp. Then use the bypass route. Conditions on the route ahead through Midland are dangerously unpredictable. Dangerous how? We've lost all communications with Midland. Units we've sent in have not returned. Other survivor and scavenger groups have also gone in and failed to return from Midland. It is not safe to proceed. Okay, we'll take the bypass route. If it costs more supplies, I'm gonna flip my desk. We're okay, we're okay. <laughs> it's fine. This is the trading area of our settlement. Are you here to trade? And maybe get some information. The only information we can give you relates to trading. This is the trading area of our settlement. Okay. But I heard you had a problem with some escaped prisoners. You want a contract to recapture them. Not necessary. Those who escape north have been located and will soon be recaptured. Those who escape south are of no importance to us. Do you know who they were? We've been looking for... This is the trading area and you are not trading. This conversation is over. Goddamn freaks acting like they're wireheads. What the hell's that about? Good to see some normal people around here. <laughs> You said you're looking for runaways? You know something about that? I'm the one who found these freaks runaway slaves in Vega. <laughs> Vega? They're the ones who escaped to the north then. These wirehead wannabes said they were gonna be recaptured soon. That's right! The recapture force will already be halfway there by now. With my help though, you could get there first. With your help? I know the roads they don't use. With their heavy, slow-moving vehicles, you can still easily beat them there. You can pay me in uh, supplies or those movement goodwill points I bet you have. <laughs> How about cartel pesos? You take them too? With the cartel and Chihuahua both gone? <laughs> They're worthless. Can't blame me for trying. So can I actually trade here? Oh my god. Oh my god. There are... Uh, <laughs> there's striker carbon armor? Ape oh, I haven't got one of those anymore. I want tank armor. There's Bradley Toe Launcher? Oh my god. Oh. My. God. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, what is this? Main tractor steel and cage armor. Okay. So, this is pretty cool. Let's upgrade my... Where's my original Bradley? Uh, my striker. What's the one I had before? This one. Chimbo 1. You are to be upgraded. Be stronger than ever before. Oh, so what does this do? The, uh, the most technologically advanced armor of the founders, even though I bought it from the integrators. Lightweight significantly increases protection against almost all types of damage, except, unfortunately, energy. 
if I just made my striker weaker? Because we're fighting robots. I, okay, well, mistakes may have been made. I probably should have read this before I did it, but it's one of those things, guys. It's one of those things. Let me just cry myself to sleep. Anyway, uh, they are, there are actually new guns here. Look at all this. We've got some new things. We've got another light plasma cannon. Though I wasn't, I must admit, I wasn't too impressed with the last one, but maybe it'd be worth it. I, I kind of like the idea of having this thing instead, the super ammo, but this had a lot of ammo as well. Um, I reckon we want to keep things fresh, have like two options. Can I hire units here? Heavy platforms, tractors, dozers. Okay, okay, fair enough. <gasps> I can buy more supplies. <laughs> How far away is this next location then? No! No! <laughs> I can't believe it! I have to travel again? I can't afford it, but I lose all my points again. This game's driving me up the wall, guys, with the supplies. Just <laughs> We're not going to get anywhere at this rate. I can't even believe what's happening. Okay, it's fine. We're not going to panic. It's under control. So I say what we should probably do is buy the upgrades of plasma assault rifles, because I think that'd be pretty handy. I think we probably dump some of these random weapons I have. Let's get rid of those feathers. And probably this launcher as well. So I would actually probably want to buy... I do like this plasma heavy assault rifle gun, so I think it's pretty cool. So we've got two of those now. The rest of the things. I don't know if I should get supplies. I guess I should try and get the supplies now. <laughs> and that's how much we have left over, everybody. Wow. Okay. Um... Sadness. Sadness, sadness, sadness. So I think I'm happy with this for now. We will not do anything else. If I've made a mistake here, it's fine. I still have stuff in reserve. Well, I mean, what if there's like an upgrade for like the Abraham we can't purchase or something? something. It'd drive me crazy. I feel like I would have liked these. Do you know what? We'll take the plasma assault rifles because that could be a big game changer at some point. So I'll put them on both of my squads. Actually, one of them's already got one. Perfect. Uh, take that, my friend. And where are the rangers? Rangers, you get one as well. And that means I can do a bit of hand-me-downs when it comes to the other weapons. Where are the mercs? They've already got the good weapons. Oh, I was expecting that. So who needs an upgrade then? Who needs an upgrade? I guess I can give them to these guys for now. Just so they have a bit... I, I do know militia are completely worthless, but at least they have some kind of additional weapon there. And I think we're good to move on again. So let's talk to this guy. How much does it cost to move on? So what'll it be? 5,000 goodwill points or 55,000 resources? How much time does it spare? We can spare 55,000 resources. Let okay. me know when you're ready to go and I'll take you on the faster route. <laughs> Just don't wait too long if you want to get to those runaways first. Two day- Ah! Oh! Nice. That's awesome. So I can get there now in two days instead. Does that mean I could have possibly saved more resources? 5,000 would have been a lot of supplies though. Let me just have a quick look. So I gave him 55,000, correct? 55,000. It was exactly the same. It was balanced. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's get going, shall we? You hear that? Thunderstorm? I'm not oh, so sure. Away. Sounds like bigger trouble than that. Integrators? Maybe them, or maybe Legion. Either way, we need to speed up. Oh, I guess the mission's begun, everybody. I don't know what to pick. I guess we have to go in with some inventory. Uh, let's have a quick gander. So I reckon we want to go in with at least the core squads here. Where's Kondo at? Kondo. Kondo, you come with us? And 80 gem squads. So we can also probably bring a driver. So what I might do... We might bring a single artillery guy for some support. I'm also going to bring in... Oh, wait. I don't need to do this anymore. We have a new thing. Get rid of that. We can now just bring in a single Humvee instead with the rocket launcher thing. That's pretty handy. Sorry, the, uh, the mortar. So we bring those guys in. I'm also going to take with me, potentially... Let's have a think about this for a second. We can probably bring in a tow launcher Humvee. And maybe the Gatling truck? The Gatling truck was very, very good at killing imagery. I mean, it was a literal lifesaver. Okay, is it that one? So, technical Bumblebee 1. Yeah, let's try it, shall we? I'm sure it'll be fine. Halt or refire. 
Identify yourselves. Shit. Are those Founder Forces? Lieutenant Alex Church, Commander of Founders Unit T-Force. We'll see about that. Just keep those hands up for now. Those your scouts we saw sneaking about like assholes on this side of town? I didn't send any scouts in. We're the survivors of the attack on Haven Base, and we've been out here on our own for a long time. Haven Base? Don't give me that bullshit. Heads up. Looks like these marauders have reinforcements incoming at the West Gate. You've got a force of founders here, sir. Say they're what's left of the garrison at Haven Base. What do you want done with them? From Haven Base? Bring them here immediately. Understood. Okay, you're coming with us. And don't even think about trying anything cute. But I'm always cute. I'm Kelso. So who are you supposed to be? Alex Church, T-Force. We're founders. We thought you were too. Used to be. But a lot's changed. So, you're deserters. I see some things haven't changed with the founders, Sergeant. So what are you all doing in Vega? We're looking for someone, also a founder. He escaped from a Legion prisoner convoy and then was captured by the Integrators, but escaped from them too. He's supposed to be here now, somewhere. He is. He's me. You? There was another Founder officer. He was captured at the attack on Haven. I was hoping. Damn. You mean Major Stevens? How's a deserter like you know the Major? Please forgive my sergeant, but you've met Major Stevens? Yes. He was with me in that prisoner convoy. I was leading a scout detachment north of here when we were captured. They killed my men, but kept me alive and put me in their convoy. Stevens was there. He was in bad shape, but I managed to fix him up some. So he's still alive? Our convoy linked up with another one from somewhere down south. They took Stevens and some of the others toward Oklahoma. Rest of us went into another convoy that was attacked by integrators. They weren't trying to rescue us, though. Just grabbed themselves some slaves and legion tech. And then you escaped from them with another founder called Flinch. We met him in New Tortuga. And we know that the Integrators are coming here to recapture you. Integrators? That's all we need. Already dealing with a large gang of marauders who trashed Amarillo to the east, and are looking to do the same thing here. Wait a minute. You said the Wireheads took the Major towards Oklahoma? Lieutenant! Remember that transmission we heard in New Tortuga saying Founder Forces are amassing at Oklahoma? We gotta get there, too. There's a big Legion base that's always been an important Founder's objective. But if you want to get there and join the attack, you'll have to go through Amarillo. And we've got that Marauder gang blocking the route through there. Plus, we need the resources to even get there. So... He gets it. We're gonna have to help this pack of deserters against these scavengers? Shit. Major Kelso! A marauder attack just broke through our defenses. That easy? These deserters must have made for some shit poor founders. We need to help them. Get ready to deploy and defend this town. I appreciate it, Lieutenant. My people can defend our most important locations, but all we can really do is slow down their attack, not repulse it. Well, I guess that was the start of that then. Oh no! Did you just see that? Because I saw it. They have artillery. So I guess we want to get down here as soon as possible. Hold this position will allow your main forces to arrive in the fight. That does seem pretty important to me. And there's also a sniper over there apparently. So I guess it's currently okay to go to. Uh, what we do, can anyone get into vehicles? This is a very condensed group of units. <laughs> Everyone's kind of just stuck inside each other. So we can only have three guys. No, not really. I guess we can load up Condo. And everyone else just has to walk over there. So you guys just start walking. Pretty good. Get in the vehicle, guys. <laughs> Let him pass, guys. Why are you being so mean to him? Okay, move up. Are they going to come and help me? I hope they do. That'd be pretty awesome. So if there, it might be a bit of walking if there's an ally order over there. So we'll probably skip until we come into contact with enemies. Looking at the terrain, there's a lot of very, very weak buildings. So I feel like if I'm going to attack, I'm going to go like 90 degree angle down this way and try and get behind this giant structure. With the hope being that it can actually defend us if there's something dangerous here. Now these guys are already booking it towards us and I actually made sure I gave them the javelin. What the hell is this? Uh, <laughs> what? What? Well, uh, go and talk to that man. Do we have a? I do have a spare guy. I'm pretty certain. It's just a casual 
it's German with like a super rail gun. Can we talk to him? Hi, are you by chance selling your super Sherman? Sir, yes, sir. Visitors. Not often we see new faces here. But I'm afraid the exhibit isn't ready yet. Exhibit? You mean this place is a real museum? Oh, yes. Of course, we don't see many visitors because of the current, uh, situation. Uh, but when... Ah! I see you've spotted our prize exhibit. An Artemis. integrator tank. Is it real? Oh, yes. And very powerful. And deadly. So why don't you use it to defend the town? The technology in it is... unique. If we reactivate it, it's... Original owners might detect the signal and come to take it back. We've dealt with integrators before. They don't like anyone else using their property. Exactly. So we keep it here, only to be used in the direst of circumstances. No problem. I can handle integrator tech. You know how to deactivate the alarm devices on this vehicle? Sure. You want to be able to use it, just ask. Oh! Okay, we're not going to do it now, because I've only got like four units. So I think we'll do it a bit later. I hope this won't mess up the mission. If it does, I am going to be honest, I will reload and do the entire thing. Because <laughs> I want this tank. Good to know. A fight with the integrators is the last thing we need right now. So, how do we do it? For real? Okay. So, there's a reset sequence. Before you turn the juice on, roll the handbrake a few times. Push the gas pedal, set the gearbox to reverse, then neutral, then turn the ignition on and off twice. Then it's all yours. In position. Wait, so I could just do it right now? Ready. But no one can drive that, unfortunately. If I had a mercenary squad, they could have actually gotten into it. I'm pretty sure mercs can drive any vehicle in the game. Confirm. Actually, I don't know. I haven't tried out my tank. We'll have to confirm that at some point. Okay, we're approaching the enemy objective, and I can't help but notice that it's now turned red. Yeah, I'm actually a bit concerned about going any further. We could try. But if we're behind this big shack, it should be fine, right? Let me see if we're up a little bit. We have got a lot of units, though, so it should be too bad. We need to get the reinforcements to carry on playing here. Oh, maybe it's fine. Oh! Oh, they got a heavy cannon tractor? Are you set up to fire? He is set up to fire. Okay, what we might want to do then... Oh god, you're firing, right? You're shooting your weapon, right? Why are you not firing? It's too late. It's too late. It's over. Oh my god! <laughs> that physically wasn't possible, but we found out it's a video game, it's fine. So we killed the truck first, and then it phased through the truck and blew up the cannon. You, oh, oh God, that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Okay, we got more enemies coming in. Uh, can you... Wait. There's no point blowing up that truck. Do not do it. Just stand nearby and get ready. Everyone else move in. Reinforce. I'm a bit worried about this. There's a guy with an RPG right there. Okay, they're reinforcing there. Maybe the mortar can deal with it. Luckily, we've got some grenades. We can just shoot over the top of the enemy here. What we probably should, probably should do is move you here, and then you should start shooting with the... What's happening with this guy? I don't know where he's going. He's off somewhere. <laughs> he's got a vacation to plan. I noticed, my friend. Oh, that is a beautiful attack. Okay, you're probably a bit overkill at this point. Can you stop that? Uh, we'll bring over Kondo. The ground, hit the ground. Oh my god, there's a... Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I don't know why it didn't attack me, because it could have easily just killed all my men there for a second, but it decided not to. There's another one coming in. Um, I don't want to waste a missile on it, really. Oh no, we can just respawn them. Go, go for it. It's your time to... Shine, my friend. Use your thing. Oh, he's a bit slow. Never mind. Uh, plan B instead. Down on him. Not in our 
I'm loving this. This is like the best weapon in the game. <laughs> it's amazing. At least against uh, humans anyway. So you've still got the problem over here. I wonder what I can possibly do. I'm a bit concerned about moving up. To okay, let's go. Let's go. Can you get him, Kondo? They can get you, they can get you. Oh, he's a bit of a pain, isn't he? Uh, what we can actually probably do, we'll bring this guy around. And you can just use the machine gun to kill that guy. No time. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Why did they just stop moving? That was a bit strange. Oh, they got him anyway. Perfect. Good job, everybody. Good job. Do what I just said. Get up a little bit closer. Okay, can you spin around? Perfect. This is what I want to see. So this is probably a stupid idea, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, wait, before I do that, can you guys go here? Let's move everybody into like this little safe pocket we created. It's between two buildings. If we get a flank, it should be fine. Okay, reverse. Oh. Snipers. What's that guy? It's a random dude. Just kill him. Oh, out of ammo type. That's okay. We can give him replenish that. No, we can't. We haven't got enough vehicles. <laughs> we replenish it at some point. Oh, we're getting cover. I didn't realize they went that way. I think we killed everybody. Or near killing everybody. No, it's not switched over, has it? Get a bit closer. For some reason, it's not switching over, which means the enemy's still alive. There you go. Oh, there's another vehicle coming in. Can you not spin all the way around? Oh, you can, you can. Not great. Um... These guys can kill vehicles. Good stuff, good stuff. No, no, don't do that. Spin around like a normal human being and go like this. What we do, when this guy's repairing, we're... Okay. Oh. We're gonna work together here. Yeah. But we ain't the same, Dezota. Founders, Fidelis. Remember that? Always loyal to the founders. That's me. But that sure ain't you. What my sergeant means is that we're happy to help you against these scavengers. Good. I'm sending you the tactical layout of our town. So, this is the town. See here? The east gate entrance. Marines turn the surrounding fields into a swamp. So this point's the only place they can get their forces into the fight. We capture it, and we cut off their reinforcements. And here, the Marauder Gang's HQ point. These Marauders... They call themselves the Gang of the Four Sons, but they're really just a loose coalition of four different gangs. We destroy their command point, and they'll quickly fall apart into their previous warring factions. This should be our main objective. We're all pulling in the same direction here, right? Founders or deserters. We get this done. We'll settle our differences later. Okay, so it's a brand new day for me. I don't know what I was doing last night, but all these units have no ammo. So I should have probably paid more attention to that. <laughs> it's okay. So apparently we've got 1 minute 30 seconds until we get reinforcements. I want to try and like bolster up this event squad. Get like a big line of fence in the city and then focus most of my tanks and stuff on taking down their resupply point. I think mean, that's a good idea. Now, uh, what we can do for now... How do you want to deal with this? You guys are getting there. I'm going to try and move up a little bit. It's a bit early for this, but I feel like it might pay off in the end. Because there's already some defenders over here. There's a, some guys trying to hold a church. Now, I didn't really mo mention it much in the last episode, but... Oh! Oh, 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 No, dude, you got to shoot. you got to shoot. Okay, I think we're okay. We'll just stay here a little bit. Get the kills. This guy's only got ammo for like one or possibly two more kills, so he's not got a lot going from at the moment. This guy didn't do anything. <laughs> the javelins, I 
They're having problems, guys. They're having problems. Okay, uh, let's, you guys move for now. Rangers ahead. Ready for launch. We get reinforcements in 49 seconds, by the way. So it may seem a bit weird, but we should get back up very, very shortly. Because if these, this is a pretty good building, right? This is actually a strong point where all the ones around it are very weak, which just fall apart in a single second. There also seems to be another big building around here. Have we got, can we use it this way? We can. So we can try and have like a big bolster squad. Medium building. Interesting. So there is a line we could potentially try and fill up to have like a good group of units everywhere. I'm coming, church guys. Moving. Oh, there's so many of them, though. Are we going to get there in time? I don't think we will. Okay, 24 seconds until reinforcements show up. We could possibly give this... Well, I say give. We'll move this over to the top. And we can use it as, like, a close-range support for mortaring. Okay, we're in range. We're in range. But we're still really far away here. Guys, stop moving. Engage. I know I should be on the ground right now, but I feel that they're just running. This should be fine. Although, we're doing a really bad job of hitting the enemies right now. <laughs> ah! No, no, okay. Reinforcements are in. So, we can call in a, a variety of units here. Let's have a quick look. Helicopter can come in. Armoured vehicles. We want to bring in the strikers. That is 100% necessity here. They have no ammo. So, unlike yesterday, I'm actually going to give ammo to my troops as we bring them in here. I feel like... Armored transports. What are the other ones? Oh, it's just the trucks. We can't really bring those in, though. There's no point. Uh, you can also bring in some light vehicles. Do we want to bring in all the random things? I've gone way too much anti-tank, though, to be honest. If you're kind of realizing at this point, I should have had a bit more variety when it came to other units. Maybe instead, what we do, we bring in two artillery. Oh, that's too many slots, though, isn't it? We bring in a single artillery, and we'll also bring in some heavy weapon squads. So these guys might be a game changer for us if they actually get in position. So we have Shepard and a Gatling gun team. We'll bring those two in. They can probably hold down a point very effectively, and we'll back them up with some snipers. So what we're trying to do with these guys, oh, we've got some more room. Ooh. Okay, uh, let's also then bring in, let's think about this for a second. There is a tank we want to get, right? Who do we... This guy. Though we probably should wait until we get more units. It said it will make the integrators attack us. So I think we want to wait until we get, like, another one reinforcing. And then we'll try that. I guess for now, though, we're bringing a sniper there. And we're bringing probably an RPG squad in case the plasma guy fails, perhaps? Or we could just bring another infantry squad. That might work as well. Let's go for these guys. You're coming with me. Okay, I'm happy with this. Let's bring them in. Perfect. Okay. So, defense is first, and then they go on the offense. Because I don't know if the, these guys might lose if we don't help them. That's what I'm a bit concerned about, to be honest. Ready to go, sir. We're going in. Heavy's out. Target acquired, sir. So, the thing we've got to keep an eye out for is snipers. They are going to probably end our lives if we're not careful. They also got a technical over there, and there's someone in a building. The snipers again. Okay, that's unfortunate to say the least. So who's left alive in this? One person's left alive, so that is not Keep great. In fact, can we even maintain this position Very anymore? Good, it might be a bit suspect. Okay, so for now, though, we're bringing the striker. The orders, sir? Probably both of them. Though we should also not do that. <laughs> let me let me just do this first. So what? Ten slots. So, let's Number think about this for a by. second. Everyone in. Heavy Move you guys up. Now, this is a heavy artillery, right? It is. So, I think we probably want to bring this one up immediately. And we'll sit behind the church. This is going to be our first defensive position. And then the next squad we'll get reinforcing. We'll move somewhere else. Uh, as you're moving over this way, my friend. Go over here. Just stand next to this building. And they should be able to start shooting over and assisting. They've only got... Eight shots, but hopefully we get some way of reinforcing at some point. Ready to go. Moving. Okay, this is not good. So we're gonna do plan B. How do you want to do with this? Got it. Get into there. Sir, yes, sir. So the enemy's gonna probably move I'm towards us right now, which is probably we're too late to do anything else. We have to Ready get on the floor. Go, nope, wrong button. Floor. 
Activate fire on that enemy. Oh, we got it. It's dead. Once we reload. <laughs> if we reload. Oh, 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 oh. Where did they come from? There was dudes just right there. <laughs> How did they get that close? They just snuck up on us. Oh, come on, man. Oh, that was my bad. Well, I just didn't give him enough time. Get in that vehicle, my friend. <laughs> I just ran off about them. Oops, it's fine. Okay, so apparently there's actually allied forces down there instead of enemies. So that's good to know. They're still being stuck up upon by these magic enemies. But it's okay. <laughs> we just kill them as we move up here. I think the next squad we get needs to get to this building here. Then we have a foundation of success. There's a, there'll just be a gap over here we've got to fill in at some point. Ready to go, sir. Infantry moving. Okay, we're about to arrive in the position here. Get over there. I don't know if I should get in the building or not. 13 defense slots, but that's only going to be on a certain side. I don't know how much of our idea this is going to be. We'll wait for now, though, because we definitely know 100% there is actually an enemy sniper nearby. We do not want to go into that. Are they coming this way? Okay, there's two vehicles on the way. Stand up. Stop moving. We're going to sniper kill it. You... Let's have a quick look. Oh, is this a random APC on the ground over there? So they have a machine gunner and a recordless rifle. I think we go for that one first because that is going to be the one that can kill the striker. Striker, move up, get there. Okay, they're shooting. Don't get too close. It can still shoot you guys. Dead. Good job, good job. The second one is actually moving up left. So let's send the striker going, kill it. It's only got a machine gun. This should be totally fine. Have we just cleared that? I guess we have. There's actually some better buildings over this way. So maybe we want to move the defensive line up a little bit. Though there's only a better building. So a quick look. Note there are actually some... There's a second church. A strong building here. Though it hasn't got any... It's only got two slots really it's not really a good idea we'll just stick with this for now okay what i'll do for now if you guys or if lost world troops are <laughs> get into that building we'll see what happens oh that guy has full-on gone past she screwed that oh how did they get so close the ninja squads they're everywhere If there's no good slots for these guys to set up, we'd move them somewhere else. Uh, Striker. Oh, let's back up. Why, hello there. Dead. Okay, someone coming. Uh, so where have you guys set up? One's in the wall. Ah, so there are slots, but they're taken up by the wrong units. So this may not work out very well. This is why I do must admit I'm not keen on this system too much, because I don't want this guy here. I want the other guys there. The ones that actually have the heavy weapons. Okay, redeploy. Redeploy again. Oh. Oh. Yes. Okay, we got it. Done it. This base is safe. We've sorted it out. Okay, next up then. You guys have the infantry team and that fella. I say what we do, we move up the javelin to get into there, as well as whoever's inside this fella, and that would be the second squad sorted out. Then last, I probably want to have one more squad get into this building, and we should be good. So let's go into the reserves. Oh, this is, this is a lot better this time. Uh, we can actually call in both Bradleys, which I think we will do, but they have no ammo, so we want to make sure that is resupplied. 10,000. Can we bring a supply vehicle in? Okay, I'm going to do a... I'm going to do this. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We're going to actually resupply this guy. 10,000 resources. That's all of it gone. But he will now be able to resupply anybody in the field. So Hurricane 2, bring him in. We also want to bring in a single artillery. Now, both of these guys... He has ammo. So bring in this one here, who's connected to Compass 2. Sword. We could bring in the helicopter. 
It was very useful last time. I use it as a last resort, but it hasn't got a lot of ammo. So maybe we'll do that a bit later. Unless I can resupply it for cheap. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't do that. So next up, we need more infantry. So we have another dual team we can bring in. So this can be the into that house. So they have a machine gun. We have a plasma. I'll also back them up with a sniper. And I think that should be good enough for them to do stuff. So the rest of the team we need to bring is probably going to be for attack on the main enemy base. So what we should probably do, actually, we're bringing two sharpshooters. And they can probably replace the snipers in different locations because they'll be just as good as my other guys, but without the rest of the equipment. Oh, wait. I really should have made sure they have maximum sniper rifles with the lasers there. So we're bringing those fellas. We're also bringing the remaining rangers. Probably the other Widowmaker. And then the free mercs. For now. I think we get reinforcers all the time. So this isn't going to be the end of it. It'll just be the first, oh second wave. Sorry. Okay, cool. So that's those guys ready. ready uh, can you land? So let's have a look here. Who needs to do stuff? Order, sir. Heavy squad. Rangers here. Ammo is looking okay for most people. We'll load them into one of the Bradleys and run up to the front line. Boarding. Yes. Just so it's quite quick. Or I could actually just bring one of the... I'll bring this guy back, load them up, and we'll just do it that way. So we've got ten slots, right? So we've got one, two... Uh, what was that? Six, ten. Oh, that's actually perfect. Okay, you guys get ready to move to the front line. Everyone else, we're going to get ready to go down to this station at the bottom of here. So we've slowed up some of them into our Bradleys. We've got seven slots each. So not perfect, but we can do... Loading. Rangers reporting. Rangers five five. So we know this place is allied, right? Because it said there was allies nearby, so we could probably just go down there to be honest. As everyone else, can you go over here for now? These guys need to be refueled. Sharpshooters on Overwatch. And you, my big friend. I'm gonna move you. Interesting. Do you know what? Out of difficulty, it might actually be better to attack the Marauder HQ than this miles away, right? Because it does say, the gang's HQ is consisting of vicious gang leaders who lead their own gangs are hiding somewhere in their sector. If we kill this, we win the game anyway, right? If we go for a major push, which would be easy for us over here, it's more condensed. We have more cover for the infantry. It's literally just over there. I'm pretty certain this artillery range will be in range of the entire enemy formation from here. So I'm actually going to move them up. We're going to go and try for this. I probably shouldn't forget as well going down here to check this location. So I'll just send a single unit down there. I think it's going to be safe. Uh, oh. Go. <laughs> Does this work? Go and scout, my friend. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Are you firing? You're damaged. But how? They must have gone past at some point and ran through. Okay, pull back over there. Okay, you're back. You got damage as well, my friend. Repair. Where the hell are you guys? You are reinforcements. We're T Force. Kelso sent us here to find out the situation after he lost contact with you. Our main transmitter was knocked out in the battle. And our backups can't handle all the interference from these storms. We got some more powerful radios I guess you could use. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. Are you changing your mind about the deserters, Mason? That Kelso deserter said we gotta work together here. Just cause I'm fighting alongside him, don't mean I have to like him. You found your well, there you go. Free allies. That works out pretty well. Uh, head back. We're down, but we fixed the problem. Ah, I'm grateful for your help. You guys, we're heading this way towards the main build up. Oh, 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 I thought the game was gonna crash over a second. Wait, do I get stuff right now? Ah, oh, free ammo. I love ammo. Same over here as well. Combat ready. This is the integrators. We are commencing a 
retaliation operation in this area. His purpose is the death of the escaped slave number 2318. You have 10 minutes to surrender him, and then you will be left in peace. If you do not surrender him, then anyone in our way is an enemy of the integrators. Goddamn wannabe wireheads. You heard that? If we stay out of their way, they won't attack us. Alex! Are you just gonna let one of these freaks come in here and take away one of our own? Hell you no! You so? But you said he was a deserter. He is. But that don't mean he deserves to be dragged off and killed by these freaks. Founders Fidelis, huh? I guess so. If that means stopping these freaks, then taking him back to Founders Command for court martial like he deserves? No. Oh. oh, what is that? Wait, I know what that is. Oh no! <laughs> they have artillery! Four ta- wait, yeah, one, two, three. Oh no. Oh wait, there's- oh, this is bad. We've got ten minutes, alright? We'll, we'll win the game in ten minutes, and then we'll deal with them afterwards. It's not a problem, don't worry about it. Okay, they're refueling. You go and join them. We don't need them. It's fine. We're going to move everyone up to the main battlefield. Got it. We're going to bomb rush the enemy leaders. It'd be fine. Everyone move up. Get moving, squad. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, everyone's moving on their way anyway. I actually loaded up some units in the truck traders to speed things up a little bit. Uh, I've well, not done this, though. I have not done this at all. And you guys get to your gas station. Yeah. Maybe you say so. So they're going to attack the enemy, right? Uh, my ally. And they're here. So would they not just go and follow this route down this highway directly to where he's hiding? I feel like that would probably be the most likely scenario. Okay, I've got a plan, but we're not going to do it until I get some more units. But it, it'll be great. Don't worry about it. Ready for target. Okay, ammo is nearly achieved. You guys need to both stay here. For now, and we we'll move them on later on. Uh, you can you go and land somewhere close to the battlefield? Go and land over there. This is a very slow reload. <laughs> I'm gonna put it out there. It's a very, very, very slow reload. Hope I can catch you on some of these trucks. That'd be pretty handy if I can. What are you doing, man? <laughs> this is stuck. We think we'd be more effective here if we were under Lieutenant Church's command. Up to you, son. If the lieutenant's okay with that, no problem here. Welcome to T-Force Troopers. Ooh. Okay, now we can bring it all up. Oh. T-Force. Oh, what is that? Oh, sorry, I thought it was like a torpedo launcher. It's just a guy with some stuff on his truck. <laughs> I was like, they got torpedoes, what do we do? Wait, what's he got on him? He's got a regular gun. Well, that's bad news to you because you're barreling towards my carbon fiber striker. Reinforcements have arrived. We can abandon the West Station. Oh, we can. Oh, there's a lot of them. Uh, that is a grenade launcher, and they have a recorder's rifle at the back. So that's going to be the one that's a bit scary. We need to move you over here to ambush instead. Uh, I've already got these guys out, unfortunately, so I made a mistake there. Relocating. Get in the cover. Get in the cover. Get in the cover. Got trouble. Copy that. Okay, that is distracted. Go for the kill there. You're evacuating this point. There's no point holding something so far away from the front lines. I don't even need to hold this, so we're all just going to leave. Uh, we will hold this position, though. Oh, that was the wrong button. Don't do that. <laughs> bad me. Bad me. Stupid. Okay, I'm trying to get these guys out of the building, but it's not working out very well. Okay, everyone move up. We're going to go and pull back. What about the ammo trucks? I can't move them, though. That's just annoying. They're just stuck there. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, ammo trucks. You're not part of my army. You're not part of the T-Force. You do not get my protection. You should have joined me along with your friends there. So we can call these guys in whenever we want, right? There's no limit. I can just bring them in. So what we do... No, I can't bring in Big Bob's tank. We're going to bring in the crews of vehicles first. We'll bring in our guys later on, but for now, this is what we need. We also do need to bring in this guy, actually, so you do that right away. Well, actually, what we could do... Oh, I got an idea. I have a plan. 
We're bringing... That's okay. That's okay. We're going to bring in all the artillery right away. And this guy, we need this guy for sure. We can do, yeah, we can just keep going at perfect. So the plan is going to be, the guys that haven't got ammo, Reporting. you're all going to just go down and get the free ammo from down there. You two already have stuff, right? So we can load up the squads. Let me in there. And you guys can just run off and get over to the top of the map. Also, there is the fact of that Sherman, who's currently, we currently got Warden 1 with the Sherman ability. So we keep that in mind. Actually, we'll bring him in now, and I'm just going to sit next to that Sherman. No! Please. No. I just want to fight the machines. Oh, why, oh, why do this? To me, please help me. Everybody, I fixed the problem. So I was not aware of what was causing this when I was recording this episode, but I do, I know now, I know now. It wasn't until I edited this entire episode, I was like, oh, I've done my edit, it's around an hour long, that's fine, I'll just do the rest later. I went to press save, and it turns out my C drive is completely full, which is where the saves go, and it was corrupting because it couldn't save properly. It was all my fault, guys. It was me. I'm the problem here. <laughs> anyway, um, if you disregard anything I say about like uh, it potentially being the game, I wasn't sure anyway, so I wasn't saying it's the game's fault anyway, but I was just like, hopefully if it is, a, they can do a patch or something. But anyway, okay, good. It keeps resetting itself back to medium every time the game crashes, so I've got the correct settings this time, so it's not a problem. Okay, so you guys need to hide. You guys go on defense mode. Get over there. Same for you guys, I think. We want to hurry up with this, don't we? Oh, we we got to the point where we haven't called him Bob. Bob, come in. You guys get in as well. We need to get the rest of the artillery. And finally, we need the Humvee and the Hacker. Confirm. Maybe it's me calling him reinforcers that caused the problem. So originally, I was going to go down here. Actually, I think... You guys already know my plan, right? I think I talked about it before the game crashed the first time. So the initial plan is going to be, in case I didn't say it already, is going to go down here to get the ammo for free. Everyone else is going to move somewhere uh, up to the main attack direction, and we're going to go for a, a big push over there. Now, what I'll probably do, every time I get moved on the road, I'm like, save, save, save. <laughs> uh, Warden 1, you can go over here and get this fella. Cover, 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 cover. Oh. Turn around, turn around. Oh, that's some quick turn speed. Whoa. Oh, it's my Bradleys. No. We got it just... The Bradleys are amazing. Uh, they are the best thing ever. Okay, so we have got a lot of units nearby. I'm going to start preparing for a proper attack on the enemy here. We have got loads of units nearby. I'm not sure how to approach this yet. So I did actually realize in one of, I did try and record this two or three other times before starting this. So I did get to the point where I started attacking. At one point I did a big rush. And I can actually call my ally here to assist me in that attack. This is the leader of the foundation here. But that's only a one time thing and he can't defend the tower anymore. So I feel like it's best to leave him where he is and I will attack with my forces. If I do the save crawl mechanic, we can hopefully bypass a lot of the crash issues and just keep playing the game that way. Okay guys, get into that building and Striker, get over to me. And join the main attack. Okay, they're doing their thing over this way. Good to see, good to see. They did not get in their vehicle in the end, but we can just probably put them into this truck for now. It'll be fine. Because we don't actually need to hold this location anymore. It's been completely cleared out, so it's not a problem. You guys need to get to the main front line. Perfect. Goodbye, missile. Your planet needs you. Move up, guys. Get ready to attack from this direction. Hopefully they get the right positions. Oh, what? How do they know we're here? We're in defense mode. Defense, defense, defense. I don't know how they realize, but they know we're here. Refire that. Oh, he's moving around. you got to fire your missile, my friend. You're out of range, aren't you? No, you should be in range. Shoot the turret. Ah, there you go. Good stuff. Oh, get the cannon, though. Get the cannon in the back. Okay, you're out of ammo now, my friend. So you need to get some ammo from somewhere. 
Um, for now, it's okay. We're just leaving me. So these guys are setting up over here. This guy can actually oversee most of the enemy base, which is quite good to know. The big truck showing up as well. This guy already had ammo, so he can just deploy him right away and he can get going. We've already got some mercenaries nearby as well, and everyone else seems to be ready to fight. So this guy's range is a lot smaller, but he can help us out in the first bit at least. Dead. Good job, good job. The snipers should, in theory, be able to kill this guy. Oh, they're out of range. Everyone's out of range of this guy. Oh, no, nearly. Wait, wait, wait. Try so I want to hit him. <laughs> as long as someone shoots him, it's fine, right? So do I want to try and get guys into this building to overlook most of this map? I think we should probably try that. Get into there, guys. Because they're actually facing uh, right, not up. So if there's enemies here, we won't actually be able to see them properly. Okay, they have killed those guys there. Perfect. And my allies... There's still a hell of a lot of these marauders come out there as reserves to the main force. We think they'll be brought in to take advantage of the situation. If the integrators are defeated, or if their own HQ is threatened. So what do you suggest? Before you attack this gunsy, hey, Bob, report. you need to capture the eastern Head entrance of the town to cut off their reinforcements. Let me know when you're ready to move it, so we can coordinate our attack. That's it, thanks, support. What are our orders, sir? Interesting. I'm still going to do what I want to do. <laughs> I think my plan's better. Yes, you say. Screw you, game. I'm doing my own thing. <laughs> Stay away from my me, me and my plans. Okay, everybody. So this is probably going to be up to this episode. It should be around an hour long. I'm pretty certain. If I, I'll go and check all the footage in a second, but I'm, I think we got to around an hour long. A lot of that was story, so I do apologize. But the I've honestly just ran out of time today to record this episode. So I think it'd be more important to get that uploaded than have no and missing a day again. So we're going to try and get that sorted out. I'm actually going out most of today, so when I come back, I will jump right back on this. And hopefully there might be like a weird patch or something that might appear and fix the problem. Or if not, I can just crawl forward to victory. I mean, I was thinking earlier, worst case scenario, I could just randomly shoot into their base and probably kill their leader of the artillery. But that's not exactly very exciting, is it? So I do want to try and do it properly and move in with my entire army. But we have to do that when I have a bit more time later today. Anyway, yeah, so sorry about the problems, everybody. It's not been the most ideal day for me recording, but I guess it's how things work sometimes. Uh, I do hope people enjoyed this episode. Nevertheless, I did think we had some funny moments, especially with that like double kill at the start. That would have killed that my entire units. I thought it was pretty cool. But anyway... As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.